Hello, a very good day to you. This video is going to show you how to set up a certificate authority okay, on your Windows server and also ensure that basically certificate checking to see whether the certificates are valid is also set up. So basically the OCSP service okay, role is also set up there. Now, there are a number of steps, okay, however, they can be summarized into literally probably about three. The first one is setting up the certificate authority, okay, setting up the OCSP, and also giving policies and the template. It should all become fairly straightforward here. Okay, so the first step is we've opened up server manager, very simple. This is a domain join computer, so it does help if it is that way. Okay, so server manager is there, just click on that, you get to the screen, and then add roles and features. Next, next, next. Okay, so this is the very first part. Click next 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 we're creating a certificate authority now for future use like for example when we set up vpns etc we'll add this web enrollment okay you don't really need to do that right now but we're just doing it at the same time and the online responder this is the shall we say service the role that actually runs on the server and whenever a certificate is used by a client computer, another server, etc., it checks to see if that certificate is still valid. And this service actually does do the verification and say, yep, certificate is valid, all good, continue with what you want to do. Okay, so next. Click next. Okay, because we clip the web enrollment, it does do a lot of IIS, Internet Information Service, server, um, bits are added as well. So it will take a little bit longer to install. Okay, once in it has finished installing. It will ask you to configure. You can click on here and configure, or you can close here and then click over there, and it's the same thing. Okay. Now it starts off with this main screen. It does a little bit of checking, and then it goes ahead. The first thing, because we've got the web enrollment, we'll just install that one first and then quickly come back and do the other two. So that'll take a few seconds. Next, make sure it's an enterprise CA. Make sure it's a root CA. Next, we are creating a private key. Okay. And you can choose the defaults. Okay. You can create a common name. A good system that we've used in the past was like the domain name. Okay. Or the IP address, which makes it easy to find. However, this is the default. We'll just go ahead with that. Click next. Okay, that's that. Again, next. And then configure. That'll happily create our certificate authority. It'll now ask you to set up the other two things. We'll just click both of them and click next. Configure. And that's all done. Now, you will think that is everything needed, but no, now we need to open up 
basically MMC and we will use this for quite a bit of time so we need to add into it okay all the certificate ones certificate template add certificates add make sure it's computer account next and then local computer that's fine um, certificate authority add that's local computer and okie dokie now we start off with basically going to our certificate templates which is over here right click on that and we are then going to basically go down to click over here and then certificate templates we basically are going to click on manage and then we're going to go for the OCSP response signing and the key over here is to basically in security add this server and give it the enroll, auto enroll, etc. features. So add. Now you will need to whoops ensure that computers are selected. Just for the fun of it, I'm clicking service accounts as well. Okay, and this computer, as you've probably seen, is called VPN Server. Okay check names it could be anything you want it does help if you spell it correct there we go now enroll auto enroll if you're feeling generous you can give it full permissions not a major issue at this point okay click apply click OK that's done close this one down and now what we are going to do is move on to the next step which is basically right over here and we need to ensure that some certain extensions are added to our certificates that give it this server's address as the checking server Okay, the CSP checking server. Okay, so properties, and there we go, extensions. Okay, we are using AIA. Okay, and we're clicking add this certificate. This um server's location is HTTP. Forward slash forward slash VPN server dot Windows ten dot ninja. Okay, let's see if we've just spelled that all correct. Yep, all goody goody. All right, click OK. Make sure you tick the last box, which is include in the online certificate service protocol OCSP extension. Click OK. Dokey. Click yes. If we were doing, shall we say, CRL as well, okay, certificate revocation lists, it would be the same thing, basically extensions, and then CDP, it'd be add, add the location on your web server where the list of all the revoke certificates are okay but we're happy to deal with just OCSP as it's the happy new modern version that seems to work quite happy okay so we've just cancelled that now what we need to do is think about okay whoops I made a mistake 
we just need to go back to properties because I forgot to add on the extension this one the OCSP at the end my mistake for slash for slash okay VPN server dot windows ten dot ninja forward slash OCSP make sure you do have this added in and once again click the box click apply it'll ask to restart that click OK and that is now set up now what we need to do is create an OCSP signing request okay so we go here and we go to do, 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 no certificate template to issue okay and OCSP remote signing and that should be there okay just check to make sure everything is fine with that okay so far so good and all we now need to do is the group policy management issue okay to basically give this server the authority to basically um, auto enrollment um, policy so if you have not got the group policy management role sorry feature installed click next 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 group policy management next install okay so we've installed group policy management okay we now need to GP uh, we'll actually just do it the MMC way okay that's fine add add row snap in group policy management add click OK and then let's go into group policy for that we basically need the domain default domain policy okay that'll show you the basic info regarding it but we need to edit it so we'll click on edit and now we're coming into computer configurations policies okay and then it's window settings security settings and then it is basically public key policies which should be somewhere over here there we go and now certificate services client auto enrollment we need to enable it click yes click yes click OK and that is pretty much done for what we needed to do in terms of the major work we can close that down let's just go to PowerShell and update our group policies rather than restarting the server okay GP update 
and then force okay that's done it'll take a little bit of time to update all the group policy policies on the server okay still not done there we go we're finished okay now is where I'm just gonna just for tidiness cut down these things these things these things just for peace of mind okay there was nothing in there okay we need to go to tools and find our online responder management if we click our array configuration you will see it hasn't gone green there's all the details missing so revocation configuration click on add next give it a name okay VPN server or whatever you would like okay Select a certificate from an existing enterprise CA. Don't forget, we did set up an enterprise CA, so that's where we're going. Okay, certificates publish in Active Directory, or if it was on a different computer name, that's fine, but ours is there. This is an old CA that we will delete, but for now, let's just keep this, because this is the one we set up today okay that one's okay click next okay make sure these two are set up make sure you're having your OCSP response signing everything looking the way it is this will be obviously different for you okay but you should have your certificate there and that should be there okay click next click finish and now once this thing is set up the good thing is we have a green tick so lovely we now have our online responder working the uh, service is working that role is working and basically it can check certificates what we shall do in our next video hopefully is to show you how to then now using this configured setting to create certificates to shall we say set up a VPN with SSTP okay secure VPNs etc or IKE version 2 etc and a lot more okay so for now we have set up a CA it works it did take a few steps and we can shut down all these things everything is happy for now thank you for watching